how is CNN um, dealing with polling? I, it's been such a problematic sort of part of our society. People in some ways not believing in polling, pollsters saying maybe we've got it wrong. If you could really quickly, because we're going to turn to COVID, talk about polling. Uh, sure. Obviously, after 2016 and again after 2020, uh, any organization that does uh, polling had to uh, examine uh, what is it that uh, is being potentially missed in polls. And, and we did that as well. And we have adjusted both after 16 and 20 uh, our methodology and our approach uh, to make sure that we are getting as representative a sample as possible. It, it is clear uh, that uh, some Trump supporters are not participating uh, in, especially in media polls, but but in polling generally and are underrepresented in what we saw in a lot of the public and private polling, by the way. Uh, a lot of the campaign polling on both sides in 2020 uh, was off the mark as well. So yeah. it's just a matter of going back, uh, jiggering our methodology to ensure that we are getting as representative uh, a sample as we possibly can. And it's just going to be an ongoing effort. I, 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 do, I will say, Yamish, Polls overall still work. They do give you a snapshot. But l like anything, I would just urge folks, as you're reading about polls and looking at polls, don't rely on any one single poll. Look yeah. at the totality of the polling that's out there and step back and look beyond that instant snapshot and the overall trends. That's where polling is, yeah. is most helpful in storytelling.